You're very welcome back. If you're thinking of doing some home renovations over the next few months, then look no further. Yes, our very own Derek O'Hartigan is on the search for some DIY inspiration. Uh, how are you getting on, Derek? Yeah, Gurmila team, we're in our element here this morning, broadcasting live from the PTSB Ideal Home Show exhibition down here at the Simmons Court Arena in the RDS in Dublin. Uh, Joanne Mooney is with us from DFS. Joanne, tell us where we're at this morning. Hi, Derek. It's great to have you here. So I'm going to be on the DFS Interiors Theatre this afternoon talking about creativity at home, something I'm really passionate about. Um, your journey, uh, your creative journey, in fact, didn't start out in interiors and home design because, in fact, you were a dental nurse. I was a dental nurse for 15 years and I resigned from my job to pursue a career in creativity and inspire creativity in others, both in interiors, fashion and just overall just creativity. Really. I mean, do people think you were mad when you jumped Absolutely. ship? Absolutely, <laughs> civil service job, yeah, they thought I was and I mad. Mean, speaking of creativity, this is one of your designs yes. here. Look at this, so I've just got to put this on your shoulder. <laughs> there we go. This looks absolutely incredible. Tell Thank us how you. you made this. So this is made of loads of wool pom-poms. Uh, it was an old jacket I had and I wore it to actually my first, uh, my solo exhibition I had in last year. So. Um, and also uh, punch design yes. is one of your mainstays. Yeah, so this is, I do punch needle workshops where I teach punch needle to inspire creativity in others because I think it's really important that we keep creativity alive, especially in this day and age where we're all on our phones and we have social media and everything, just to make something with your hands and sit down and be creative. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, it's not about cost because the thing about you is it's all about doing it on a budget. Absolutely. I mean, you can buy wool in the Euro shop. Everything is kind of really cheap to do. So um, it is all about using your creativity and uh, not spending a lot of money. You and know? you said uh, we're all on our own little creative journey. And I mean, things can be done at home. But as we said, on that cheap budget. Absolutely, yeah. Even when you're decorating your home, you know, you can do things yourself. I'm all about DIY, thinking outside the box, being creative. Do your own wallpaper, paint your windows, you know, just be creative at home. I think it just, you know, your, your personality should be reflected in your home. And I'm going to be speaking about that today on the DFS stage. And there's loads of really inspiring speakers as well. So all right, well, best sure of luck with that. Great and we're loving you, the pom pom colours here this morning. <laughs> now, Jane with her all the way from uh, Judex Heritage. Good morning to you, Jane. Uh, Jane, yeah. colour plays such an important role in our homes. It absolutely does. The Dulux Heritage Collection, we have 112 absolutely beautiful timeless colours. You've got a mix of period colours and contemporary shades and they really do evoke a sense of feeling when we create them in our home. Now you're calling this luxury in a tin. I mean, yeah. what colours should we, we uh, be looking at for this season? So. The whole collection is really a timeless collection. So whether you're leaning into a trend, um, like something like, I suppose, color distribution, like color drenching at home. So that's when you paint everything the same color, which is absolutely beautiful. Something like waxed khaki here, which is a beautiful green, that will absolutely work. You can put it on your walls, your ceiling, and your woodwork. Uh, what do you make of people at home painting uh, walls two different colors? Well, that's absolutely up to them. <laughs> and do you know what? The team here at Tulix Heritage, um, the color consultants can absolutely help anybody over the weekend. So Ireland AM viewers can come along and have a chat with any of our color consultants to help them on their color journey and um, we will absolutely help them. By the way, what are the main, main trends this season? Oh, lots of dark neutrals and some um, soft neutrals too. Soft neutrals and dark neutrals. Okay, do you want to come to my home and paint my walls? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Next up, we've got the one and only Dermot Gavin. Good morning to you, Dermot. Good morning. Is this a soft neutral <laughs> or a loud neutral? I'd say that's pretty loud anyway. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not only about creating, um, you know, that colour palette in terms of paint, but also you can use plants very efficiently and very effectively within the home. Or you can just enjoy them and grow them, <laughs> <laughs> apart from seeing them as part of the decor. Everybody loves growing indoor plants. It started a bit, or it was revived as a trend about 10 years ago, but especially young people. So the idea of bringing house plants down to the RDS, down to this giant shed uh, surrounded by interior design is really great fun. So we've arranged with Dunstores and it's down over here. Yeah. Now tell us about what plants we should uh, you know, be growing at home at this time of year. Well, everything, everything, we're retreating in from the gardens at this time of the year. The weather, well, it's meant to be getting a little bit Yeah, cooler, but it's still but very it's, mild, it's right? Very mild. Yeah. So things like the bird of paradise, orchids, any of the kumquats, any of those citrus fruits, lemons, uh, or terrariums and bottle gardens are very, very popular because they're great to make. Everybody can grow them. There's so little looking after in them. So all the foliage 
plants are on trend and uh, anything that gives people a bit of a project or a, a job to is do. Isn't that lovely? That is absolutely beautiful. So it's, it's a little garden in a... It's happiness in a jar. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> I have yeah. one of these at home, these beautiful ferns. Uh, how do you look after them if they get dried out and, and burnt? So uh, this is the asparagus fern and it loves a moist place. So something like your bathroom or your kitchen where there's a little bit of steam around. But you were telling me earlier that you miss them. Yeah. <laughs> I can give you another little tip for misting houseplants. Use rainwater. Oh, rainwater? Right. Okay, absolutely. so collect it from the yeah. Yeah, tepid mm. rainwater. They absolutely, uh, they they love that. Ferns are just the, these are the maiden hair fern in a bathroom. Just glorious. Obviously, coming up to Halloween, people decorating their houses and homes. What should they be doing at, ho uh, at home? At, at home, any of these plants that provide that spot of colour. So we have the little comp cuts over there, which are the very Halloween colour just at the yeah, moment, the colour of a, a, a pumpkin. But any bit of joy. You see these miniature orchids that we have. They're just so much oh, fun. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. And obviously coming into the big sea, Christmas just around the corner. I mean, how do people keep their Christmas trees alive, Jeremy? Uh, put them in water. So when they're cut, when you get them home, cut them again. Put them in a bucket of water, rocks around them to keep them stable. Okay, That'll cut them, cut them, them again into water, keep them stable. Loving that. Dermot Gavin, thank you so much. Next up and finally, we've Here got we the go. one and only Cavan's finest, Neville <laughs> Maguire. Good morning to you, Good sir. Good morning, how are yeah, you? Yeah, I'm great, I'm great. Um, let's talk about what you're doing down here then for the weekend. So I am doing three cookery demos and we're talking about all kind of Christmas recipes. I'm going to be doing master classes, knife skills, using my pots, pans and knives and showing people one of the most asked questions, how to cook the perfect steak and show me a bit of chopping too. How do and you then, cook the perfect steak? Because well, I'm a steak man now myself. Oh, me too. And it's, we have the best meat in the world. So you marinate with a little bit of rapeseed oil, garlic, and you fry it in a good hot pan with a little bit of butter, thyme, garlic, and that's it. Uh, your journey, of course, started in Black Lion in Cavan. You're still up there. I am. Yeah, and uh, your dad, <laughs> Joe, I suppose, was your inspiration, ma'am, as well. Yeah, my mum and dad, like, they started the business. We're open 35 years, so it's been an amazing journey. And seeing the way the Irish palate has changed, you know, they're embracing food, they're enjoying, and they want to know where their food is coming from, local produce. And, you know, I, I think the palate is definitely... Uh, Got, got more sophisticated. Yeah, you scooped that award this year as well up in Ulster. We did, we're very mind. happy. We have a great team, we have 60 staff, so we're blessed with the team that we have. And you know, it's about giving people a lovely experience. And that's what we're gonna do here over the weekend with the Dunn Stores team. You know, I'll be doing some lovely recipes. I have my new book out, which we've just launched, my 20 cookbook, Eat Out at Home. So it's about entertaining, yes. cooking for family and friends, because they're the most popular classes that we have in the cookery school. And I've made you a little dessert. Oh, well, we couldn't leave without <laughs> trying this. Uh, this is a sherry chocolate with my mum's. <laughs> Uh, my mum's favourite as well, so I'm going to try Plenty this. Plenty of port and sherry oh. in it for you. This mm. is one of the recipes we're doing over the weekend. Oh, God, that's very tasty. <laughs> Isn't oh. it? <laughs> no, but now I'm going to tuck into this, and Evan McGuire and all the team here. Back to you guys in the studio. Oh, Enjoy. Good man. Mm. OK, dessert before 9 o'clock in the morning. That's my kind of meal. <laughs> that's my kind of breakfast, absolutely.